So we're learning more now about the sad toll of the corona lockdowns in this country. According to Joe Biden, though, we could get another round of lockdowns. These for a crisis that's every bit as bad as the coronavirus, maybe worse. That crisis, of course, says Joe Biden, is climate change. Today, I'm pleased to announce a team that will lead my administration's ambitious plan to address the existential threat of our time, <clears throat> climate change. Folks, we're in a crisis. Just like we need to be a unified nation in response to COVID-19, we need a unified national response to climate change. And from this crisis, from these crises, I should say, we need to seize the opportunity to build back and build back better than we were before. A unified national response. It's involuntary. That's the one thing we know. What does it mean? Well, we're learning that a World Health Organization staffer has written a report saying that a climate lockdown could be called for. It's like a COVID lockdown, a climate lockdown. Mark Morano is an author who has written a lot about climate change. He founded Climate Depot. He joins us tonight. Mark, thanks so much for coming on. A climate lockdown. Now, I would laugh this off the table, except we all just lived through the last 18 months, so we know that anything is possible. What does this mean exactly? <laughs> Well, you know, in my book, Green Fraud, I detail two chapters on this, Tucker. This is the climate activists were, first of all, jealous when the COVID lockdowns happened. They were beside themselves saying, how is this happening? Everyone from Greta Thunberg to John Kerry, UN officials. And then they started saying, we need to follow this. If we can shut down for a virus, we can shut down for climate. And that's what we're seeing. There's even academics in Australia proposing adding climate change to death certificates. And Bill Gates has said the death toll will be greater. So they're following every step of the way. And it's not just, you know, a, a professor here or someone in academia. We have a major UK report coming out. We have an international agency report that came out uh, calling for essentially the same type of lockdowns, everything from restrictions on your thermostat to restrictions of moving. Uh, you know, you can only fly in a climate emergency when it's, quote, morally justifiable. You know, kind of like a lockdown, you have to justify going to the store for essential services. They're going after freedom of movement. They're going after private car ownership. They're going after uh, everything it means to be a free person and turning it over to the administrative state. Would this include shutting down the iPhone factories in China? Would China and India participate <laughs> in this climate lockdown or is it kind of you first, America? Well, you know, as we know, the lockdowns had never been proposed. We felt like lemmings following the, the, the Chinese Communist Party in terms of them recommending lockdowns. The World Health Organization went after it. The World Health Organization employees are now recommending these climate lockdowns. The one countries that won't be affected is China. As, as you say, as we're sitting home binge watching Netflix, we're not going to be able to have the freedoms we used to have. In the UK, they proposed uh, CO2 ration cards that the government or employers would monitor your CO2 levels, you know, your energy use, your travel, the type of car you drive. If you exceed a level, you pay penalties. If you're under, you get credits. This is the world. A CO2 budget for every man, woman, and child on the planet has been proposed by a German climate advisor. This is, our, this is what we're looking at. I, you know, I talked to a German who talked about East Germany. They used to have these kind of restrictions uh, in East Germany before you could leave the country. But we're talking about proposing these now on Americans within the country. And we had this, of course, with COVID. They were talking about bans on interstate travel at one point, uh, a national ban, some of Biden's advisors. So anything is possible. Chuck Schumer is urging Biden to declare a national climate emergency. Just like a blue state governor, he could have emergency powers. I feel such deep shame that Americans complied with what we've just been through, and I hope that they will not comply with this. I really do. Mark, thanks so much for coming. Well, on that, uh, the, sure. Thank you, Tucker.